What's up y'all, Gerald here, creator of Gospel Chops and your host for this YouTube channel, back with another video. Now, if you follow this channel for some time, and most of y'all are new here because this is a new channel, but you will learn over time that I have interest in many different subjects, but one of my college degrees is in political science. So it's inevitable that from time to time, I will chime in on political subjects. And this happens to be one of them. It appears that the same swampy, slimy forces that have been attacking Donald Trump over the last year or so, funding his lawsuits <laughs> and supporting district attorneys who are willing to prosecute him for criminal charges, those same forces has stepped forth <laughs> to challenge Carrie Lake. And of course, they were there in her run for governor of Arizona. She failed. But we see that behind the scenes, there were forces working against her, nefarious forces. And it seems that those forces have not gone away. Now she has turned her campaign to the Senate. She's in the midst of a senatorial race to become senator of Arizona. And all of a sudden, Someone pops up out of the Arizona GOP. This is shameful, y'all. This is the swamp at work. But someone popped up and offered her bribe, allegedly. But fortunately for her, she recorded the conversation and has made it available for all to hear. You can search on the internet. It's there. But in this video that she released recently, she explains her feelings on the subject and how she felt about being approached in that manner how she feels about her race for senator of Arizona, how she feels about the work that she can do in Washington, D.C. to defeat the swamp. Well, let's check out this video and see what Carrie Lake has to say about being approached in an inappropriate manner. Let's go. Who told Jeff DeWitt to bribe me? I don't know. I wish I did know. As a matter of fact, I've thought about it many a day since then, and I've, I've laid awake at night wondering who it could have been, what group, what person. But isn't it sad that you could literally, for 24 hours, think about it, wonder, guess, and that our government is so corrupt. Washington, D.C., the people back east, as he said, is so corrupt that you could literally probably come up with a list of about four or 500 people and groups that are uh, behind this. And, and, and that's the sad thing. And this is why I am getting into politics. I'm in politics. This is why President Trump is in politics, because we want to make sure that we root out that kind of corruption. We can't have that kind of corruption happening in Washington, D.C. And frankly, it starts in Washington, T in, in D.C., and it moves down into capitals across the country, into the state houses, into the municipalities. And uh, what happens is people run for office, and immediately they get bribed, they get blackmailed, and they become controllable. And this is what's wrong with our country. What do you think of Jeff DeWitt's resignation letter? What do I think of Jeff DeWitt's resignation letter? Well, it came very late. Uh, I didn't see an apology to the people of Arizona. Uh, he tried to act like the behavior you heard on that audio is normal communication amongst friends. It's disgusting. And I think he did a horrible job and he should have just apologized, resigned and apologized and said he's going to work to um, to do better. Pray for our movement, pray for our country and pray that we have to. And I know this is hard because sometimes I don't want to pray for the people I don't like. We have to start praying for the people who are opposing bringing our country back. We have to pray for I, I don't even want to call them enemies because I don't think I have any enemies, but we have to pray for the people who are pushing back against saving our country, the people who we look at with maybe disdain and pray that they, that they find God. Because this is really a good versus evil battle that we're in. It's truly a good versus evil. And I know that we're weary and tired. I'm exhausted. We've been up since God knows when. We just flew back on a very long five and a half hour flight. Uh, we're all tired. We're gonna get up tomorrow and do it again and just pray every day that God uses you 
and gives the skills that you, he gave you that you can use those to help save our country. I would love it if you'd pray for my family and our safety. That would mean a lot to me. Pray for our country and that we are successful in saving this great, great republic. We feel lost and we don't know what to do. Oh. What can we do to help the movement and what can we do to help America? Oh my gosh, I just wanna look, I wish I could look into your faces right now. <clears throat> we are not lost. We are coming back. Our best days are ahead of us. The fact that you're sitting here watching this in the middle of the week shows that you're involved, you're engaged, you care, just like I do. I mean, I never in a million years, five years ago, would have, would have seen myself, envisioned myself in politics in the middle of a political movement, but here we are. And everywhere I go around the country, I go to liberal cities, liberal states, conservative cities and conservative states, and people everywhere come up and say, thank you for fighting. Thanks for talking about election integrity, for fighting for it. Thank you for being involved. This next 10 months is going to rely on every single one of us to use our God-given rights and you might, or God-given abilities, I should say to save our God-given rights. Your abilities might be, you might say, well, what abilities do I have when it comes to politics? Maybe it's just picking up a phone and you like to talk to people and calling people, getting involved in a phone bank. Maybe it's answering emails for a campaign. Maybe it's protesting some of this ridiculous stuff you're seeing uh, that the left is pushing. And by protesting, I mean not buying products that are pushing this agenda on our children. Or maybe protesting means literally holding a sign up and saying you're not for something. We all have to get involved. Get involved with your local Republican club, whether it's Republican Women's Club, whether it's the uh, state party. And I'm hoping that after Saturday, we're going to have a very strong Arizona state party. Get involved with campaigns. We have to be involved the next 10 years. And most importantly, use your voice. The most important and the strongest and most potent weapon we have is our voice. So we got to use our voice and make sure that we are speaking out about the candidates we like, don't worry about the, what the media says. Speak out and support President Trump and myself and everybody else who's an America First candidate. Are we good? Okay, guys, uh, I'm so glad that you joined me. Um, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm sure you are. It's been a very long few days. We just came from the East Coast. And I appreciate you for being here. I wanted to answer questions of everybody in the media who had asked me. But frankly, uh, there's not enough hours in the day. We had hundreds of media requests, and I'm going to try to get to some individual people in the media in the next couple of days. But I appreciate you joining me here. This whole reason that we are in this movement, this whole reason that we were born at this time is to be here for this moment. I believe that with all my heart, just as our founding fathers were here 247, 250 years ago, for that moment, God placed them there and he placed us here. We are here at this moment for a reason. God put us here and we're not, this is not an accident. We're here for a reason. I'm honored to be here in this fight with you. It's me and you and all of us together. And as Americans, I do see a day when we come together. I want to be working together with Americans to make sure that we are fighting so much to save this country. And so let's do it. You, you see the carrylake.com. If you can go there, you can learn where I stand on the issues. If you can make a donation, if it's $1, if it's $10, if it's $100 or $1,000, it's appreciated. Anything you can do, we have to support those candidates who are standing up against corruption and for the people. We've got 10 months to save our country. I'm going to do everything I can, every single thing I can to do whatever I can to save this country. And I, I do believe we do it. I've had people come out, come out to me and they say, we've already lost it. No, we haven't. We've not lost it. We got 10 months to save it. Raise your hand. I don't care if you're at home alone. Raise your hand if you're in this with me because I can't do it alone. President Trump is a friend. He's one of the strongest people I know. And there you have it, y'all. Kerry Lake saying, <laughs> Pray for my family. Pray for my situation. I love the fact that she invoked prayer because <laughs> we all need prayer in these current circumstances with our border being overrun, with our federal government abdicating its responsibility <laughs> and actually fighting against Texas. Who wants to step up and protect the border? Y'all, we are in troubled times that we have not seen in my lifetime.
So I admire the fact that Carrie Lake requested prayer and we praying for you. I hope you are praying for us as we support you in your mission because we need some more honest brokers in DC to help drain that swamp. Y'all, what do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video so we can get more people involved in the conversation, y'all. And like I always say, always remember and never forget, without the gospel, it's just chops. Until next time. Peace.